As a man, you don't want low testosterone. How do I know? You might ask. I've been on both sides of the spectrum. And having low T as a man is really depressing and just a miserable life in general. If you want proof, this was me only two years ago. Anxious, hated my life, loser, played video games and watched anime all day. I was fat and now I'm none of these things and it only happened after I started to maximise my testosterone levels. I remember around one year ago when I was trying to boost my testosterone levels and I would watch every single YouTube video there is up to date on how to boost testosterone, the best foods to boost testosterone like this one, what habits are killing your testosterone and I was doing a bunch of research and I was trying to find what actually boosts testosterone a lot and in every video I remember when it says how to boost testosterone, diet was always on there. And I was thinking, if diet is so important, then how comes I eat a good diet? And my T levels are still average. At the time I did a blood test, I had 650. You might think, oh, that's pretty good, though, that's all right. Well, it's okay for the average. It's all right for the average, right? But the average nowadays, no one does shit. Everyone stays home, plays games all day. Even if you're an adult and you don't play games, most of the time they're sleep deprived from work. They just eat random frozen foods found in fucking Sainsbury's or some shit. So it's not good to compare yourself to average. It's not good to have 500 nanograms and say, yes, I'm average. Because on average, it says 0 to 1,000. That's the normal range. And the average, it says to be 500. So 500 is average. I'm at the average range. But you could take your testosterone levels a lot above average. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. In the videos, every time they would say diet, I would get more and more pissed off because they would say eat a clean diet. That was not specific enough for me because there's the vegan diet, there's the carnivore diet, there's the herbivore diet, there's keto diet, there's the paleo diet. I have no idea what foods to eat. But then I start to eat these free foods a lot every single day, right? And then my testosterone levels went sky high. When I say sky high, it went to around 900 nanograms so it definitely increased a lot more before we get into the video i want to tell you that i have a free discord server for young men on self-improvement so if you're on self-improvement you'd like to discuss testosterone gym muscle growth fat loss anything relating to that go join the discord server you could communicate with young men on the same journey as you and you guys can discuss things there's a general chat there's fitness chat there's obviously testosterone chat you could even talk about ancestry and dna which i'm going to get into more of so yeah i don't want to waste too much time with that just go join this completely for free all right let's move on the first food that will skyrocket your testosterone levels and i'm sure you heard it a lot is eggs now eggs i thought it was way overhyped every single video was like eat eggs eat eggs and i was like oh what's, what's so good about eggs then i did some research on it eggs are packed with micronutrients let me just give you a couple right now vitamin a crucial for tea vitamin d vitamin k all the b vitamins b1 b2 b12 b9 which are all super important for testosterone levels omega freeze so as you can clearly see eggs have a lot of nutrients for testosterone production and not only is it goaded for testosterone because of the nutrients but it also has a lot of cholesterol and you might hear cholesterol and think oh shit that's bad but in actuality, cholesterol is very good for testosterone. In case you didn't know, the precursor to testosterone is cholesterol. So the more cholesterol you eat, the more testosterone your body makes. So don't listen to these fat doctors telling you to not eat cholesterol because they're trying to make you have low testosterone on purpose, exactly like them. So you might ask how many eggs you should eat per day. I think four is a sweet spot. You could eat all the way up to 10 eggs, right? But I don't recommend it. Since especially a lot of people watching this video probably live with their parents, so... You're probably from ages 13 to 18, right? I'm 15 myself. Since my mom buys the grocery shopping, she would get annoyed at me if I munch down on 10 eggs a day. Like, that would be very, very annoying for her. So, the max I could take you to is four without her getting annoyed. And I'm pretty sure your parents are similar. They don't want you fucking eating the whole fridge in one day. So, bare minimum you should eat is three. You should not go below three. But I still recommend four to five eggs is the perfect amount. Number two, I don't really talk about this food a lot, and it's oysters. Oysters contain a lot of zinc and zinc is one of the most important nutrients I'd argue the most important nutrient for testosterone and it's one of the biggest nutrients that a lot of people are deficient in So you see how a lot of people are deficient in this nutrient, but it's also super important for testosterone production So you can't be missing out on your zinc and the problem with zinc is the reason why people are deficient in zinc is because so many foods do not contain enough zinc 
you could eat your four or five eggs a day you could eat chicken and obviously depending on how much chicken you eat you might not even get your zinc for the day if you don't eat red meat or oysters then you're guaranteed to not get your zinc but oysters the rda for zinc so the amount of zinc you should eat is 8 to 11 but you could go more than that a bit more like 15 right one oyster contains five milligrams so you can eat two oysters per day right two oysters actually you could eat one oyster combined that with the other foods you're going to eat anyways that has zinc in it zinc is done for the day from one fucking oyster meanwhile you could eat a kilogram of chicken and you'll have as much as that but also depends on the type of chicken you eat but yeah number three and lastly is red meat and i know you just rolled your eyes oh though everyone says red meat but people don't talk about the hidden benefits of red meat other than fucking proteins and fats and the stuff that we know not only it contains zinc which is obviously amazing it also contains something called l-carnitine and l-carnitine is an amino acid which is obviously essential but it's not contained in a lot of foods a lot of foods do not have l-carnitine in them for example even foods that are protein heavy like eggs and chicken don't have a lot of l-carnitine the way you get l-carnitine is by eating red meat and what's so great about l-carnitine is it increases your androgen receptor sensitivity and if you don't know what it is let me just make a quick recap if you're new around my channel Androgen receptors are what binds to your testosterone for it to work. So without your androgen receptors, you won't really have testosterone activated. So it's super important. And let's say testosterone here, androgen receptor here. Only some of the testosterone gets binded to the androgen receptor. So that's called sensitivity. And sensitivity could change based on per people genetics. That's why some people have more androgenic activity despite having the same testosterone. But let's not go off topic let's say there's testosterone here there's 30 testosterone and 10 androgen receptors maybe let's say six will bind right but if you eat more l-carnitine eight will bind nine will bind do you understand so androgen receptors will bind more to the testosterone which means that you will have more testosterone activity despite having the same testosterone total so for example that's why i hate when people say oh i have 800 nanograms but you well, where's your free tea no one knows about your androgen receptor sensitivity what's your dht level so i don't actually like total tea that's why it don't mean shit unless your symptoms are there as well so if you have 900 nanograms and you have all of the symptoms of low tea then there's something wrong maybe something's wrong with your serotonin your prolactin your cortisol maybe your androgen receptor sensitivity is off so you can't just look at total tea and say i'm safe that's not how it works okay that has been the end of the video I want to remind you, I have a free Discord server for young men on self-improvement. And if you got this far into the video, you're like the top 1%. 99% of people can't get this far into a video. Period. That's it. Not not even a... There's no catch. Most people nowadays have a, such a horrible attention span that they can't concentrate on a normal video. They need to be scrolling or the video needs to be two minutes long with hyper-editing. So, just go join the free Discord right now. There's valuable information in there that I don't really talk about in this channel about testosterone and muscle growth and it's just a good community to talk to people i'll see you in the next video bye